Welcome to the Thermal Equipment Sales Company. Freezer floor monitor, dual control and monitor system. A um, couple of things. We, we've been in business since 1973 making temperature control, uh, solving temperature control problems and creating solutions for those problems. Um, this is one of our solutions we sell. Uh, do a lot of freezer floors. We sell heat cable and monitor and control the, that system uh, with this monitor. Let me show you a little bit how this works. Normally, you wouldn't see any of the monitor here. I've have it set up now for an alarm. Note I have our set point temperature at 90 degrees. We monitor a floor temperature. Matter of fact, let me change that real quick. Normally, we would set this at 50 degrees, so we're monitoring at 50 degrees. You have a very clean screen. You see your two set points. You see an about me. And if we were calling for heat, we would have a heat on indication here, showing which zone was on, on at the time. Let's go back, change this to a high temperature just so that... just so that we can get alarm. Notice we now show the heat is on, we have a temperature alarm, and we're showing alarm mode. We have an alarm silence button built into the system, so if you push the alarm silence button, you get alarm silence, and the alarm comes, goes off. Note there's also indication on the panel showing that we have a red light indicating that we have had an alarm problem. Um, that alarm silence button will reset every 24 hours and you get a new alarm if you haven't solved the problem. Um, freezer floors are expensive and it's important to replace or, or uh, take immediate attention when you have an alarm. If we push the temperature alarm button we get through some troubleshooting. Notice here we have floor temperature 1, that's our actual temperature, that's our fault, how many faults we've had. We can monitor faults on this so that we know how many times this has been below freezing. We also have amount of time it's been below freezing or below below our, our alarm point. Days, hours, and minutes. And we provide a little bit of troubleshooting guide at the bottom. Freezer floor temperature is near or below freezing. Check all components. If we go back, um, we also have an option Go to history. Here we have our different alarms, GFI fault, cable fault, cable fault 2, and uh, temperature faults. We show the zones, we show how many alarms we've had. We can take that and go to the specific page that it's on and check it out. Here is our cable monitor. Those are the monitor relays we have inside the panel. And here's a quick troubleshooting guide to figure out how to solve those issues. Same thing with GFI. We monitor our GFI breakers and it gives us options how to say how to show it. If this was an alarm, we would show an alarm light here and the faults would be indicated. Um, a little more detail is on troubleshooting. If you just want to troubleshoot, you can go to this page here. It'll show us temperature alarms, GFI, and again this go to the same pages pretty much, but they have details on how how to solve the problems. Back to history, back to our, our display page, and back to the home page, which reverts to if you haven't done anything else. Now, this panel is not just the touch screen. It comes with that. It comes inside. You'll note we have an alarm at the moment we have unhooked. PLC. This is where this is where you hook up your tent sensors. We come with a 40 foot cable with the sensor built into it. Teflon coated for corrosion resistance and for moisture protection. 
we have monitor relays, one for each circuit. And we have two GFI protectors. This is where you would hook up your power going to your cable. We have a um, solid state relay for each circuit and a circuit breaker for each circuit. Notice that this one's on at the moment. And this is where you bring in your main power. You know, our PLC that controls this entire process. Um, normally these panels be a little cleaner shaped than this, but uh, we're in the middle of this and doing, the, doing a quick troubleshoot, and I thought I'd do a video while we were at it. Um, anyway, thank you for viewing our page. Um, let us know if you have any questions or need a quote. Thanks again, Thermal Equipment Sales Company.